Hi, I'm Jeff, and welcome to another video where I give you the opportunity to test your comic book grading skills up against actual results from CGC. Well, kind of. Today's a little bit of a cheat. I do have a box here from CGC. We are going to unbox it. We're going to take a look at the grade, and what we will do afterwards is we will assess the book and see if we feel like the grade is justified. We'll do a little bit of a what was CGC thinking to this book. But mostly, this is not a test your comic book grading skills video. It's more of an opportunity for me to kind of show off something of mine that I think is kind of cool. So if you're only interested in test your comic book grading skills uh, content, uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. I'll see you in the next one. However, if you are interested in knowing what's in the box, stick around, kids, because it's story time. Now, uh, a few months ago, I was on YouTube looking for something to watch, and I found uh, that Donny Cates and Megan Hutchinson, his wife, were doing this live stream on YouTube where they had this thing called their Advocates Book Club. Uh, essentially, what they would do is assign each other comic books to read, and then they would talk about it once a week. Uh, just in case people don't know, Donny Cates is a writer of comic books. He uh, writes Thor and Venom, and he wrote God Country, and he has a new one called Crossover that's coming out. And Megan Hutchinson is his wife, and she is an artist in her own right. I don't know the full extent of the work that she's done, but I do know that recently she's done two special covers for 616 Comics. Uh, she did this one. Uh, for the Department of Truth, number one, which I like a lot, and actually, I bought one. She also did this one for Crossover, which is Donny Cates' new book that's coming out. This is an X-Men 141 homage. I like this one as well, but I did not pick this one up. Anyways, so they had this book club live stream that they were doing on YouTube, and it was pretty cool because it felt like, you know, you get to see them talking about comic books, and you get to see them hanging out with each other, and they were also, like, hanging out and interacting with chat, and I thought, what other opportunity would I have to, like, hang out with Donny Cates and ask him questions in chat and stuff like that. So it was pretty fun and pretty entertaining, and I checked it out every week. Uh, since, uh, since for a while now, they moved it off of YouTube, and now they're doing it as a straight-up podcast. But at the time, they were doing it as live streams on YouTube. Anyways, in addition to the content that they had week after week, one week they did a special thing, where they had a kind of contest. Uh, Donny Cates likes to say, read comic books and do dope shit. And they had this kind of do dope shit initiative where well, they, they wanted people to go onto Facebook and put down what dope shit they'd been doing. And they were going to pick somebody who'd been doing dope shit and give them a prize. Well, I was like, well, I want to win a prize. So let me tell them about some dope shit I'm doing. And I thought, what am I doing that's dope? And I thought, well, you know, I did suggest to my local comic book store that they start having claim sales as a way to generate revenue during the pandemic. And my LCS thought that was a good idea, and they asked me if I would be willing to help them with it. I had the time. It was during the pandemic. I wasn't working. I love comic books. I'm friends with my comic book store uh, owner. I thought, yeah, okay, I'll volunteer my time to you, and I'll help you with your live claim sales. I thought, well, that's pretty dope of me, I guess, in a way. I guess that's semi-noteworthy. Let me submit that as dope shit. Well, apparently they thought it was pretty dope as well, and they acknowledged me in one of their live streams. I'm actually going to put the, the um, link to this video that they have on YouTube when they did this live stream. I'll put that in the description with a timestamp so you can go straight to the relevant part of uh, the video if you're interested in checking it out. Well, after acknowledging myself and some other people that were doing dope shit, uh, they picked somebody at random, and yes, uh, you guessed it, I wouldn't be making a video right now if I didn't win uh, their little do dope shit prize. Um, uh, now, what did I win? I'm sure you're wanting to know. Uh, I won a commission from Megan Hutchinson a, for a sketch cover, um, an original sketch cover, but it's not only from Megan Hutchinson, it's also from Donnie Cates. Now, some of you might not know this, but before being a comic book writer, Donny Cates wanted to be an artist, and he went to art school. So Donny Cates actually has an art background. 
So this prize was a collaboration on a work of art, a sketch cover. So that's pretty cool. A lot of people might have art from Megan Hutchinson, but not a lot of people have art from Donny Cates, let alone a, a collaboration between him and his wife. So that's what this is. Uh, that was pretty, pretty cool. They asked me what I wanted, and I wanted to choose something that uh, Donny Cates wrote. So I chose Thor, number one, the sketch cover for them to work on. And I asked Megan Hutchinson what she wanted to do. And she said she really liked the character design for Thor, so she loved to draw Thor. And I said, sure, draw Thor on a copy of Thor number one. Sounds good to me. And once again, she worked on it with Donny Cates, and that is what's right here. Uh, we're gonna open it right now. Um, some of you actually have seen this before. I've never seen the actual book. I've seen a photo of it, and some of you have actually seen the photo of this, or at least a part of a photo of this as well, uh, if you've been paying attention to my YouTube channel, and uh, that little kind of hint uh, will become clear exactly what I'm referring to in just a moment. So in typical fashion, first let's take a look at the box here, the shipment from CGC. There's only one in here, so it's a smaller box. Of course, they only used one piece of, uh, of bubble wrap on this, which is fine for something like this because it fills up the entire thing. See how that's not moving around? That's how every, well, maybe a little bit, but very little. Um, this is how every one of their shipments should be. There should be no wiggle room in there at all. So let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, let's see if I'm looking at the, well, let's just get rid of all this here. Beep, 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 beep. So this one is wrapped in cardboard. If you remember, you know, uh, the last, uh, this, uh, I'm starting to notice that these shipments are coming with um, cardboard. My one when I did my, um, my CGC unboxing, you know, nightmare where all my things were damaged, they didn't have cardboard. So this might be a new step that CGC is doing to help reinforce and protect the comics. And I'll take every little bit of reinforcement and protection that I can. Uh, I am looking, okay, great. So let's, that's the front, this is the back, great. Uh, so and in sending this to CGC, I did get a yellow label. They, uh, Donny Cates and Megan Hutchinson submitted this book directly to CGC. And actually this was a little bit of a special thing, oftentimes there, it's a rare instance where they have two different artists work on a sketch cover and they usually don't allow like one artist to work on it and then send it to another artist to work on it and then send it to CGC. If it's at a convention where both of the artists are there and they both work on it at the convention, that's one thing CGC is cool with that, but they don't like it jumping from place to place. Because Donny Cates and Megan Hutchinson live together, they made a kind of exception in this instance where they allowed a direct submission to CGC for a yellow label from both of them, once again, because they both live at the same residence. Great. Now, I don't care so much about the grade, frankly, this was about encapsulating a, a piece of art for me. But I wanted it encapsulated, I wanted it protected, and I also wanted uh, like the label to verify that this was art done by Donny Cates and Megan Hutchinson. So I really hope that the label does justice to the fact that both of them worked on the art for it. Anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna let you all take a look at it first. There is the submission. Some of you uh, who are keen observers will notice that this is my subscribe guide. This is my little uh, image that I have here on my YouTube channel. When I was looking for images, I had a picture that Megan Hutchinson actually sent me of this book before she sent it to CGC. And I was like, well, why don't I use that for my comic book channel? But yeah, here it is in all its glory, all done by Megan Hutchinson and Donny Cates. I'm going to let you take a look at the grade. Once again, I don't care about the grade, but, you know, a 9.8 would be great. So let's take a look at that. Okay. You see that there? Now it's my turn. Oh, sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, they got the 9.8 white pages. I was a little bit concerned that this book would not get a 9.8 because I've seen Donny Cates handle comic books. He is rough with them. 
Um, he, he is sometimes, I see, oh, people would give him a hard time in these live streams he was doing because he would have these books and he had dog ear after dog ear after dog ear and collectors like me were so triggered by the fact that he would fold over so many pages of a book and he's like, ah, oh, they're books, they're meant to be like handled and abused and we were all like, no, please don't do that. So I was a little bit concerned that this book would get manhandled in the process of Megan Hutchinson and Donnie Cates working on it, but no, no, no. No, 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 it retained its 9.8. That is very cool. It is solid white on the back here, and it is drawn on the front. Now let's see what the label says here. Uh, it says, signed and sketched by Donnie Cates and Megan Hutchinson on 63020. Um, so, it's funny because CGC have required that in the affidavit that the two of them sent in, they required that Megan Hutchinson and Donnie Cates write specifically what they did art-wise on this book. And I believe that um, Megan Hutchinson did most of the drawing and that Donnie Cates did a lot of like, there's like whiteout used to kind of like make these lightning bolts and things like that. I think he did some of that stuff and he, I think he did other, I don't know specifically a lot of what he did at all. Um, I thought that because CGC wanted such specific information from them about what they had done, that um, that might end up on the label. But no, it just says signed and sketch by Donny Cates and Megan Hutchinson. Well, that's fine. I'll take it. Um, I was hoping for more detail, but that's cool. Maybe some, you know, I can reach out to Megan Hutchinson if I'm really interested and ask her to tell me what she told CGC just so I can have it for part of the story. Well, I got to say, I mean, it's it's a 9.8. I said that I was going to do um, uh, an assessment, you know, of what was CGC thinking. But for a 9.8, I mean, I don't see much of a point. Um, I'll tell you that the corners look sharp. Uh, there's no damage. This corner looks sharp. This corner looks sharp. This top corner looks maybe just like a hair blunted, but it's like, it's way better than a lot of new comic books that I see where the corners are all like uh, pretty torn up. But no, you know what? I, <laughs> we're gonna have officially nothing about testing comic book rating skills in this video that I've labeled as such. Sorry about that. Um, but here it is, this cool thing that I just got in the mail. Um, I'm happy about it. Uh, I hope you're happy for me. I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, unbox this uh, comic book and talking about the process of how I got it and also submitting these uh, type of thing to CGC. If you want more information on how you submit like through an artist to CGC, I have a decent amount of that information through what I learned uh, by doing this. So if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask me in the comments. Um, yeah, this is great. Oh, he also, just you can't really tell, he used part of her signature in his signature. The, the middle line in E, or she probably incorporated it, the middle line in E is actually the line from his signature. Anyway, fun little thing. Anyways, so if you uh, enjoyed this video, uh, please, likes are always appreciated. Um, and if you are interested, if this is for some reason <laughs> the first one of my videos that you've seen, this is an unusual one. Uh, I recommend you check out my other Test Your Comic Book Grading Skills videos, as well as my other Just One Book videos. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed already, I recommend subscribing. Hit the subscribe guy right there. <laughs> He's probably right on top of him right now. Right there the subscribe guy right there. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next one.